hi guys welcome back to my channel so you know we're here you can see my background it's kind of you know it's not quite but it's kind of approaching chinese new year so we're gonna slay a look you know to kind of you know mark my background so if you want to see what look i come up with you already know what to do keep on watching okay so first I'm actually gonna go with like my spin on it I don't really like just red shadows like this so we're gonna go into this shade right here called Nancy it's kind of red but not you know this red back there so we're gonna go in with that and I'm gonna put it right here Oh, and this is a uh, 208 from Makeup by Yolanda. Man, if you can get your hand on those like white and brush sets, like you gotta get those because they're like perfect. So I'm stamping and then when them, like when there's like a, just a little bit of product left on the brush, I'm going ahead and now. Um, you know, blending a little bit. This is not really a blending brush, so I feel like I might need a little bit of black to just darken this up a bit. We'll see. I think I'm gonna use this shade right here from called Fatty. So first, I was using No Limitations. Now I'm gonna use Rebirth. Okay, we're gonna use which brush is that? Two fourteen. See, I feel like I need to be a little bit darker. So 216, and I'm gonna go into body. Yeah. I don't want it to be like too black. Like I don't want that to be, you know, the focus of the blender. But the look, I just want a little bit of. Yep, that's that's kind of what I need, just to make it, you know, a little bit darker. But you want to be careful because black can just kind of get away with you, away with you, away from you, like real fast. Yep, that's all I needed. And now I'm gonna go back to this red right here. Let's go ahead and cut the crease, cut the crease. Don't ask me why I'm whistling. Okay, let's go in and cut that crease. First, I'm going to with my C10 just to kind of get my base going. But I don't like to use it to actually cut the crease because I, I don't feel like it's small enough and gets flat enough. If you are really big eyelid, I feel like this brush will be perfect. Um, I don't. See, like I feel like that part is good and now I'm gonna go into my CC 9 and that's the brush I think is perfect for my love it now we're gonna go back to this palette so instead of using like a yellow I don't know I don't know I think I'm gonna do Becky which is you know yellow right here so instead of doing like an actual matte yellow I think I'm gonna go into that yellow let's see let's see let's see but first I'm gonna put a yellow base but maybe I might I don't know Did this work 
shit is this? Pizza Gale. Pizza Gale. That's, that's, that's what we have here. I don't know. This looks good. By itself. I don't know. Maybe I just put that gold. No, let me go in. I just want a little bit of that back. I think that's a black. I feel like that's like a really dark brown, but it's Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna do my other eye, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back and I really really like how this look came out. I know this red looks pinkish, but I promise you it's red. I think it's just pulling that way on camera, but yeah. So let's jump into the face. Uh, that was a good catch. Today I'm actually going to test this out. This is from MAC and it is the Studio Fix Tech Cream to Powder Foundation. So we're gonna test her out and see if I like it. So the coverage is not that great. It's kind of thick actually. It's kind of thick. Don't know if I like it. Don't know if I like it. You know what, this brush is dirty. I need to bring it downstairs. Let's, let's try another brush. Okay, so this is uh, 732 from Loxy. Let's try that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this because this is really thick. But in the coverage, sucks. I don't know, Mac. Stuff have like I used to be like a diehard, like Mac fan, like just you know, just crazy diehard. But I feel like Mac has kind of you know just fallen a little bit. Like I don't know. I feel like I need like a few creative minds maybe. I'm trying to see if I can build this up because I can still see some like situation. I feel like this would be really good for like you know your no makeup makeup days, but for a full bit, I don't think so. We're gonna go in with one size concealer. And I'm gonna go with my Mario stick contour stick. Oh, and this is my 405 F405 for makeup by you. And I know why I'd rather be like just ignoring to tell you guys like what I'm using. Like, you know, girl, you know, you know, because you, you're here with me like all the time. You're in my makeup room, so you already know what I'm using. So why, why, why would I want to tell you? That that's what I'm thinking. Man, it's coming up on two years since I have my channel. Two years, May twenty fifth to be exact. And when I go live with my first video, still struggling, you know, still trying to make it, but. I love what I do, so I don't see me stopping anytime soon. And if I can inspire one person to do the makeup, or get you know one person to get tips from me, I'm I'm happy. I mean, would I want my channel to grow? Of course, like who wouldn't, you know? But it is what it is. And this is doing a weird thing right here. 
I'm pretty sure it's that foundation because I did bring the foundation a little bit up to my on the eye which I don't usually do but yeah I don't know I am frustrated because I feel like that foundation just messed up my whole face look. And I can't leave that like that. Like I can tell you that for sure. I'll go in with my Fenty powder and we're gonna set it. Okay. Let's move on to the eyes or finish up the eyes. I almost want to just go with just yellow let's see how that yellow will show up because you know I'm kind of yellow so and I'm gonna bronze my face so I have a darker shade of that iconic London bronzer this is quite dark what shade is this this is deep bronze and this one is warm bronze I know it's your girl be like laying her own wigs it's not the best lay but I'm working on it I lay a wig every week so eventually I'll be good at it I taught myself how to do, put makeup on, so I'm self-taught for my makeup, so I'm pretty sure I can get my wig situation going. Okay, so this is with this shade. And now we're gonna go into deep bronze. Is that deep? Yes, deep bronze. And I'm just like focusing this right here. I'm not bringing this up. I'm just like right here. Okay, so we, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna think, I think, I'm just gonna go with that yellow. Let's, let's see. And I'm gonna go with this gold. It's called gold, or well, my gold from Mac Jacobs. It's Mac Jacobs, yeah. Just a little bit of gold in my inner corners. And now I'm gonna go into Simone in the No Limitations Power for Makeup by Miranda. And Simone is like. She comes to play. For blush, I'm gonna go ahead and use this in the volume one for Makeup Bio. Ah, Juvia's Place, Juvia's Place. I'll be going heavy with the blush. But you know what? You just do what you gotta do. Nope, that is not the right thing. I'm gonna use number one heat wave from Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. And I'm gonna use Chestnut from Laura Mercier to line my lips. No, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's let's go in with Luna Beauty Liquid Lipstick and this one is in shade Zaya. I think that's Manny's dog. Okay, let's dust up this powder. No, some days I just can't find that hole in my ears. I'm like, my ears been pierced since I was like a little girl. So I know it's there. I just can't find it sometimes. I can't find it. 
and I gave it some bitch waves. No, you no. Know. Okay, so that's it guys for this video. I had fun, you know, creating this Chinese New Year's look. You know, I love it. Again, this is red. I don't know why it's showing up so pinky on camera, but yeah, red, yellow, black, you know. Yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join the family, and you know what? I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Turn into a smile, and now you can let go. Oh, oh, we see the